Like the idea of free apprentices? Well, in this video, I recap the Kickstart scheme and tell you about the latest updates and news that's just been released. As a business accountant, my team and I help business owners all day on their journey. And I think as business owners, a lot of people got quite excited about the announcement in the summer statement around the Kickstart scheme, which effectively said, we're gonna be offering a scheme for people where we're gonna help you to have an apprentice by paying you for around 25 hours a week of their time and all the associated costs of doing it. And that sounded amazing. I think a lot of businesses who are looking to make that transition into being an employer got quite excited about it. because they thought it's a nice way, you know, soft landing really, I can take someone on, uh, it's not going to cost me any money, uh, and you know I can go through the process of learning to be an employer and everything else. So I think it sounded like a really good scheme. Uh, and to be honest, there is some still some great incentives to take on apprentices, which we'll get to near the end of the video. But for now, I just want to update you on the latest news around this Kickstart scheme. Now, before I get into it, if you enjoy this video, make sure to click on the subscribe button below so you get notified when we release more videos just like this one. So I'm a massive believer in apprenticeships. I think we've had probably five, six over the years and they've all been fantastic. I think if you're willing to put in the time as an employer, then you're gonna get some great benefits and be able to really mold the people that come through this program. Uh, one of the things that I think is attractive from a pure pounds point of view for potential employers is obviously you get to pay them a cheaper rate in year one. Now, the thing with that is it all looks exciting, but don't underestimate the amount of time you're gonna spend training and developing that person. And I think it's only right therefore that there is a balance of cost because uh, the internal cost of, of training these people really is quite heavy. So it's a fantastic scheme. So if you get the chance to take on an apprentice, definitely look into it, I'd, I'd thoroughly recommend it. Now, the Kickstart scheme was there. It was designed for people, they said, who were on universal credit and at risk of long-term unemployment. Now, that was the headline and they said, okay, great. Well, when it comes along, we're gonna fund these 25 hours a week and all the costs and everything. And that's still the case. Where it's changed is the guidance released this week says, yep, you can do this, here's how you apply but you can only apply if you effectively want to take on 30 apprentices. Now, for nearly all small businesses that I've ever come across, no one's doing that. That's more for the big boys and um, all the, the other big companies that can go and do that kind of thing at one go. Uh, so I'm not sure, unfortunately, it's gonna have the impact we hoped at small business level. But one of the options they have said is that you can band together as a group of people um, or as a body and go and apply and then sort of split the load down and split the apprentices down. I'm not sure yet at the time recording this video how successful that's gonna be. I presume some training providers would be in for this and a couple of other people. There is a very small fund to cover the administration of this scheme. So it is available. So if you really do want somebody on this scheme, I'd suggest looking out maybe on LinkedIn or Facebook or wherever business groups you're in, Chamber of Commerce and the like, because there will be people that will be banding together to do this scheme. I spoke to a few uh, in the week who've contacted me on social media asking if I know of anybody. At the minute, I don't, but there undoubtedly uh, will be some people. So if that's still of interest to you, then that's where you need to go right now as a small business owner. However, all that aside, what was a separate thing, and I think they're being slightly confused, is there was something called employer incentive payments. And that was, if you took on an apprentice, right now, currently, before any of these COVID style announcements, if you took on an apprentice under 19, you got a thousand pound um, given to you uh, to cover the you know the cost of the organization training and all the rest of it which is great uh, you could also get it if they were had a educational health care plan and were under 25 so they had some sort of support that was needed then uh, that was also available that still exists so you can still get that thousand pound right now for those style of apprentices the new employer incentive payments actually work for apprentices of all ages however if you're under uh, 24 and under there's a two thousand pound payment and if you're over 25 it's 1500 but these are on top of that thousand pounds. If you took an under 19 apprentice, you can get a thousand pound plus your 2000 pounds. There's a nice 3000 pound there. Now the employer apprentice payments are based around how long you keep them. So you get one payment. So let's say you, you qualify for the 2000 because you've taken somebody under 19. You get 50% paid within 90 days and then you get the other 50% at the end of a year. So they are incentivizing you to take these employees on long term, which I think for me is key around apprenticeships. I find it bizarre that people want people for short term. I think, you know, if you're going to invest that time you want to a long-term relationship with that person so um, a brilliant idea but yeah so it comes in and it comes direct to your bank through these two payments now in order to get the payments you've actually got to log on and register with a government online service portal and the link will be in the comments and that will help you go through that process of doing it if, if you're looking at a thousand pound for the under 19s that was already in existence normally the training provider the college etc will sort that out for you but these new payments it does look at the time recording this video that you're gonna to have to go on and apply through an online portal to get those so as you can see there's still some really good news if you are looking to take on an apprentice right now but unfortunately the kickstart scheme does seem more difficult than at least initially thought in terms of access for small business so that's it so if you've enjoyed this video 
be sure to share it with your networks, click the subscribe button below, and we'll see you in the next one.